Do you think you've been over-treated, under-treated, had unnecessary treatments? Hi, I'm Donna Denson, the Dynamic Diabetic, and today I want to talk to you about rethinking our medical treatment. Is it necessary? Are we being over-treated? You know, major uh, setbacks during COVID have led to opening the door for doctors to think outside the box, if you will, about our treatments. You know, uh, that during COVID, we were forced or chose to avoid tests and treatments because we didn't want to go into the facility or we didn't feel it was safe. Um, but for some people, no harm was done by those delays or cancellations. So that makes people think, well, do, do we really need these things? What is really necessary? That's good for us as patients that doctors are having to rethink about this. Overtreatment causes a lot of suffering and it costs billions of dollars. So now have the largest database they've ever had to be able to compare patients that got a treatment to patients who didn't get a treatment or delayed treatment or tests. Like, I'll give you some examples. Colonoscopies, especially for older people. Um, there was no harm when they didn't get those done. Uh, hemoglobin work for type two diabetics. You heard that, right? Type two diabetics. There was no harm done by having delays in those blood tests. Semi-elective surgeries and yearly dental x-rays. You get tired of having to have your x-rays done every year? Well, they're saying it didn't do any harm when we didn't have them every year. So doctors are re-looking at this. They were looking at our care and realizing that we have low value care, care that it really won't hurt us if we don't get it. And then we have care that will definitely hurt people if they don't get it. So they're looking at both sides here. Um, some care simply cannot be delayed, like screening and treatment for cancer. You wouldn't want to delay that. We hope no one did. But others certainly can be delayed without negative effects, and they're determining which is which. <laughs> Overtreatment um, is sometimes caused because doctors are being extra careful because of non uh, malpractice uh, suits. They're making sure they don't miss anything Sometimes doctors don't have access to all your records, so they can't see everything to make the right decision. And so they're cautious. And the health industry actually has incentives sometimes because they have to pay for expensive equipment. So there are changes too in what is going on with our medical treatments and what's available. For instance, a CT scan back in the 1990s would give a doctor 30 to 40 images to evaluate. Now they get thousands <laughs> of great pictures to look at so they can see things they've never seen before. There are also some patients who insist on procedures they don't want to wait and see. They don't want to take a chance at all. They, they want to have the surgery they think they should have. That's sad too, right? So COVID also leads us to look at insufficient care. Where did people, where are we not offering care to begin with that has affected things like mental health? You know, COVID patients that were going through difficult treatment, they didn't have any help, any mental help to help them get through. And lots of people died without any help in coping with that. They didn't have family, friends, or anybody. So there's some areas where we could improve our treatments. Um, and it, I'm thankful that they're looking at that as well. So doctors are thinking a little more um, holistically about treatments and that's good for all of us. That's good for all of us. So when you go to your doctor, ask questions, uh, be willing to wait and see if a doctor suggests that. And also, you know, they may give you a different treatment now than they gave you before. And that's okay too. This is something good that came out of COVID, the reevaluation of what we're doing. Uh, it, 
as diabetics, we have so many things that we go through. If we could avoid some of that, that would be terrific, right? So I think that all of us should benefit, but I know diabetics, we will. And I hope you found this information interesting and helpful. I appreciate you listening. <laughs> I hope you will share this information. Subscribe to my channel, please. I hope I found you safe. I hope I found you well. And I genuinely hope I found you happy. This is Donna Denson, the Dynamic Diabetic. May God bless and keep you until we connect again. Bye-bye.